Hey guys, it's Nikki with Pup Scouts Dog Training and today we're gonna to be trying and reviewing Fi's GPS dog collar. We chose the yellow color, but I'm definitely gonna be trying their other collars to switch it out instead. And what I have here is the charging little dock, the cable, and it looks like a little charging station. Here's the collar. I ordered a size small for my dog. My dog is a miniature golden doodle. She is a small dog or medium. Some people think she's medium. I'm hoping that this is the right fit for her. So we're going to put this on my dog and see if it fits right. And we're going to test out the GPS. We're going to test out just how accurate it is, just how quick it is to find my lost dog. Right over here, you can scan this little barcode to pop up the app and download it for your phone. I've already gone and downloaded it. I'm going to set it up and we'll get started. There we go. Looking good. So we're at the park and Elmer and Lovely are going to disappear somewhere so that I can go and try to find them using the Fi GPS collar. I will be using my camera to kind of give you guys a view of what my phone looks like when I'm trying to find her. And uh, yeah, let's go. Okay, so we're here at Woodley Park. It shows that Lovely is at Woodley Avenue, Van Nuys, California. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark her as lost. How do I get there? All right, so it says lost dog mode. Now we're going to find her. So if you can see here, it's blinking red, which means her collar should be blinking red. And it looks like Lovely is on the road somewhere with Elmer. So I believe this is supposed to update every every minute or something like that. So it's showing me that I'm over here and Lovely's over here. I'm facing this direction, which doesn't seem to be where Lovely is. So we're just gonna turn and head this way. I just realized that it doesn't really help that I don't have glasses on. I'm kinda squinting, but I'll find them. Okay, so the GPS has her moved just a little bit and it looks like somewhere over here. I just found them right there by the tree. Haha. <laughs> so if you can see here, I'm getting closer and they're over there by that tree. So we're going to see what happens when I get closer to Lovely. I found you. I found you, Lovely. How was it? Was it? How was it for you? <laughs> I was I mean, walking in the park. <laughs> it was a walk in the park for you. <laughs> All right, so I don't really know what this means. I think this is just from, oh, I see here. So we, I don't know what the green dot, I think I marked Lovely as lost right over in this area here, but we were here. So I don't really know. This is where we parked. This is where Lovely is currently, and this is where I am. So I'm going to take off the lost mode right here. Do not disable lost mode if you've not found your dog. Interrupting it will substantially delay this. I found lovely. Disable lost dog. So there you go. All right. So after testing out the lost dog mode here at the park, I was able to find lovely and uh, it wasn't really hard at all. It was pretty simple. I think the lost dog mode, oops, Lovely just left home. I don't know why I got that. Anyway, lost dog mode works. Definitely really liked it. Um, I wish the Fi collar would maybe beep or something if I got closer, kind of like you're getting hotter, you're getting colder, the louder or faster it beeps. That's just too much to ask for. So, so far, GPS part of this collar works. It's very cool. I like it. Yeah. So we, okay. So the other part I wanted to add was that we did not test them moving like finding a moving dog um so i couldn't really see how often it would update to let me know where she was because they were they stayed by the tree until i could find them so um i believe it said it updates like either every one minute or every every few minutes or something like that but um that was a feature i did not get to test out maybe i'll do that next time so we're outside having lovely go potty and one of the features that the Fi collar has is this light that you can have it 
blink. I think you can have it blink rapidly or slowly. Um, it's white for the flashlight. Go inside? Let's go inside. There she is. So I wanted the Phi collar because you can only trust the microchip so much, right? If somebody were to take my dog or we go hiking and for whatever reason something happens and we're separated, the microchip only does so much. So with the GPS collar, at least if there's cell signal, it will locate where she's at. And I really liked that feature. It's been a little over one month since I put the Phi collar on my dog and the battery life is actually pretty good. We've gone to Vegas, Oregon, we've gone to the Bay Area, all without having the base with us. And today I just checked the battery life of the collar. It's at 23%. So it's, it's a long lasting collar for sure. And I really like that I don't have to charge it every few days. But yeah, so that's my experience with the Phi GPS collar. I strongly suggest that you get one for yourself. The more protection you have for your dog, I think the better. Go to tryphi.com to check out the bands that they have and the subscription plan that they do have. When I purchased the collar for my dog, I also purchased the subscription plan for the GPS service. It was probably like a hundred something. I can't really remember. Actually, you know what? I don't even know if I've been charged yet because I believe you get 30 days free and I think today is like my 30th day using the collar. So I'm not really sure how that works. Um, I might have to add that later. If you're interested in getting a collar for your dog, use this code right over here to get a free band when you make your purchase. So what other GPS collars are you guys using? I did my research for a long time trying to figure out which one I wanted, but I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what you're using and how that's working for you. Leave a comment down below and I will talk to you later. Bye.